Hello, dear friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mukesh English. This is Mukesh Soni. In this video, I have brought you an introduction to Dvipa. Not the whole summary, just an introduction to Dvipa. Dvipa, a famous novel, famous Kannada novel written by the famous Kannada writer Na D'Souza. The full name is Leonard D'Souza. And we have referred the translated version from Kannada to English by Sushila Punita. So just uh, we are going to have a limelight of this novel in this video. So there's a village. Uh, before that, let's know about the author. The author is here, Nadi Suja, and the story revolves around the lives of the people who are residing in Hosamanahalli region and the approaching threat of displacement, dislocation of the people due to the construction of a dam. So there's a village named Hosamanahalli and one side of the village there's a Sharavati river and the other side Sita Parvat. It's a hillock, it's not a mountain. Uh, the back of this Parvat is very rich with a lot of forest land. Its head is quite bald. So during the times of the Ramayana, Rama, Sita and Lakshmana, they had crossed the Sharavati river and they rested in a cave on the top of this hill. So now the sprawled at its root. So at the root of this Parvat, we find there are five families, three areca plantations and three rice fields. So out of these five families, there are three families are the landlords and the other two are of the bonded labors, bonded since birth, right? So three families are of the landlords and the other two families, other two families are of the bonded labors. Since birth, they are the bonded labors. So now out of these three landlords, we find here two persons. One is Haramba Hegde and the another is Parmeshwarappa. Haramba Hegde and Parmeshwarappa, they are very wealthy, very rich people. They own the bonded labors like Baira and Hala. They work at the field. So Bayran Hala, they are the bonded laborers. They work for Haramba, Hegde and Parmeshwara, the richest people in this town or in this village. Now, the main protagonist of the story is here, uh, the Ganapaya. Ganapaya, I hope my pronunciation is quite better. Uh, Ganapaya, Ganapaya is, not, is neither rich nor poor. A very medium range person. Ganapaya is neither rich nor poor, but he does not have any labors. So, what does he do for any kind of field work? He hires labors and he pays them the daily wage. But does that does not make any difference to his status? The respect the landlords command it, which always come from the place and the role in the community not from their wealth. So this has been the system in the villages for the generations together. So everything changed. So now there's a great change that has happened in the story here with the new idea of Sharavati hydroelectric project in the village. So a new project has come up. Sharavati hydroelectric project in the village and the dam is going to be built up because of this. So, because of this, what's going to happen? Countless villages are getting submerged. And with them, what will go away? The lifestyle, the values that has sustained all the communities in this Malnad region, in this Malnad area. So, everything will be submerged, not only the villages, but also their lifestyle, as well as the values, which will be submerged along with this project. Now the government, what the government generally do, as usual, the government has arranged some sort of compensation for those landlords, those who are going to be displaced or dislocated. They'll be relocated to some other place with the land. Now the laborers, the laborers have no land anyway. We know the laborers are the, they are the daily wager. They don't have any, any land. So they are not covered by this government's compensation. The compensation is only for those landlords, those who, those who own the land, 
they will be disk they will be dislocated uh, they will be given the land some other place but the but the daily labors they will not be given any land so there is an officer a submersion officer who is the in charge for all this dislocation um, all this in charge the submersion submersion office is set up to see this process but only those landlords who can grease the palms of the officials are given land elsewhere who can grease the palm of the official means to say thoda sa vitamin m so ganapaya is not a wealthy person who cannot bribe though he has his own land but he does not have the labors he, he just hires labors but he is not so wealthy so he cannot bribe so what happens his application is lost and but finally he takes up a decision he decides to stay back with his wife and father and he decides to face all the consequences of the change in the landscape which are due to the modernization he he thinks that whatever will ha will happen i'll stay here so he does not decide to go because he does not get any any land by the submersion office by the government so when the river does rise when the level of the water of the river rises and it submerges the land around the lingana around the linganmakki dam around the linganmakki dam it spares ganapaya's house look at the fortune here nothing happens to ganapaya's house now shravati does not drown him because people but people did so he is judged by an alien urban yardstick and found wanting he 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 has become very wanted person because why nothing happened to him so as money becomes a new criteria for respect he feels degraded by his own community and his wife in losing his self worth as a person so ganapaya loses everything else so the complete story in detail we shall watch in the next video so kindly stay in tuned with mukesh english my youtube channel please wait for some time i'll be uploading the interesting dwipa in detail thank you so much for watching